Hello everyone. So today I'm going to add this VSync option to the graphic settings uh, because last time we only had this type of inputs where we can change from uh, low, medium, high, epic uh, settings for each of the quality settings. But this VSync is uh, uh, like a checkbox. We can either enable it or disable it. Uh, so it's a binary state. So I'm going to implement this binary input for the graphic options and I'm going to implement it into the system that we apply in the runtime that changes the graphics changes and I'm going to add the vSync also into that in today's episode. So we can enable it or disable it and apply. It will be reflected in the game. Right. Okay. Now let's see how to implement it. And this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons. Thank you very much for the support. Right. So here, uh, one more thing is remaining, uh, which is uh, VSync, and it should be a enable disable option basically a tick so um yeah let's add it now so let me go to the graphics option sorry this is the main option let me open the graphic option right now here we need another line but it should be a different line uh, with the tick so let me where is the option line yeah this is the option line with selected values so I'm going to duplicate that option line and I'll name it widget option toggle like this and then uh, we don't need buttons here let me first delete these buttons and remove them from here as well so button size were actually 30 right so let's in uh, increase the desired width by 60 so this text should be in the same place as the as when there were buttons uh, no only 730 yeah so now uh, actually I don't need the text as well I need a uh, oh wait we have a reference here we need a enable a what's that option toggle wait checkbox right put it under here can we set a bit for this let's uh, add a scale box to this
sorry not a scale box Yeah, let me just replace this with the child and wrap with the size box. Oh, here yeah, so we can't set a size. Yeah, okay. Right, we can adjust the option later option location later but first let me add this option toggle into the graphic options <laughs> okay uh, let's increase the desired width of the option name to like 900 not too much 850 little less 830 yeah seems fine okay now we need to change this as well so this should be changed to oh, let me rename this WDG Vsync drag and drop Initialize this option. We sync level. So actually, this is a toggle, uh, but to keep things simpler, I'll define the toggle also with the integer. So here, let me go to the Do we have initialize event? Right here Set option level and I'll get Let me change the text checkbox name to just checkbox. Oh, we can't. Option checkbox. Option check box set uh, how do we set the value? Set check the state. We can select this checked state based on the integer. If it is zero, I'm gonna leave it as unchecked. If it is one, I'm gonna set it as checked and compile.
Okay. Oh wait. Why do we make it? Um, yeah, it's fine. Okay. Oh wait, didn't I change the option toggle? Decide with 8.30. Why does it look like this? It's not changing. Let me remove this. Size book, it didn't do anything. Right. What if I add a space? This 200 and this one I leave at the usual value which is 700. The changes are not reflected here for some reason. Maybe that's because of this one. So let me delete it. Oh, why do we get this error? If I try to play and go here. The option is working but access none trying to read the property option checkbox. What causes that? Alright, here I am giving the level 3. Maybe, yeah, let's try giving 0. Some kind of initialization issue, I think. The checkbox is not initialized when we try to change it. Okay, so instead of calling this in the construct. Well, I had to restart the engine now when I change the this one set to 830 and compile it actually reflects here for I guess some bug happened here now let's try if I play go to settings yeah now we don't have that uh, problem anymore great okay I guess that was work but anyway restarting fixed it so now we have vsync also so what's the next part right this uh, overall graphics quality the one we can see 
in here so I'll change the text to instead of just graphic quality I'll change it to overall overall graphics quality right now when I change it uh, all other options should be changed to uh, the similar settings that means here uh, when I change this to low all other things underneath should be changed to low so how do we do that right uh, before that did I implement vsync in the here I oh, know right so first let me enable actual vsync setting in the game instance set vsync enabled so this is a toggle which I can get to graphic settings I'll add a new parameter connect here like this Right. now I need to do change the apply button as well is implemented here so we think we can get it from widget we think get level and we can select this level based on this integer if it is 0 not enable if it is 1 it is enabled test we think actually even if I implement it we can't really see that it's not clear as the other options but anyway it is working I'm sure okay what's next oh it has taken already closer to 20 minutes so I'm gonna stop here and in the next one I will work on the overall settings in the next episode and thanks for watching so as always project files will be available for the download through the patreon page link would be in the description below and see you in another episode goodbye